Hi everyone, welcome to the Potter Hut. My name is Mel Grant. Um, for this video, I just wanted to show you something that I had, sorry about shaking the camera then, that I created myself. Um, I collect recycled bottles, but only two specific types. One being Schlor bottles, Schlur, Schlor, whatever way you want to pronounce it. The other being J2O Spritzer bottles. Now I get them because of the unique of their shape. Um, I've tried many different types of designs and my most popular ones are Valentine's and Mother's Day. Um, I don't think I've got one. Oh yes I do. I have one to hand which I will show you later but I want to focus on my, my Harry Potter ones hence this is the um, you know, Everything Potter is what my site is all about, my channel is all about. So, okay, so I always go onto eBay because I don't have the facility, the money, the machinery to be able to print off um, vinyl decals myself. So I always go onto eBay and quite a while back now, I've had these for a while and I've got another set of these particular stickers that go on the bottles and they do last for quite a long time and you can you can um, immerse them in water, but not like for long periods of time because um, they will start to come off. So it's best not to immerse them in water. You can wipe them down to clean them and stuff, but not with abrasive type sprays and cleaning materials because they will start coming off. So anywho, um, the first set of stickers I bought, and I don't know how well you're going to see it from here, were the sorting hat and the name of the house. So obviously I bought the sorting hat, the name of the house on all four different houses. So obviously I've got the Gryffindor, I've got the Slytherin, I've got the Hufflepuff and I've got the Ravenclaw. They also came with a, a plethora of different designs. So I don't know if you can see from there, got the HP for Harry Potter, got Dobby, got a wand, no specific one and um, I put them on in an array of places and I've done the same for all my bottles and you'll I'll show you them all finished I took this one apart especially to see to show you I'm so proud of these bottles because if you can imagine the bottle as it's looking now you've got the sorting hat you've got the name of the house and I've seen a few choice stickers on the other side um, I did have gems going around the edging and I decided to take them off because for me they weren't and please I don't mean this in a sexy sort of way or anything but they weren't universal enough they weren't good enough for anyone anyone and everyone can buy it and they'd be happy with how they look um, I wasn't happy with it nobody has said to me that they're not happy with it or they they made comments or anything like that I, I just wasn't happy with it so I took all the gems and that off and because I'm a bit of a knitter I decided to knit some scarves to fit around the neck of the bottle but before I get to that I decided to put some um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see I'll get up and get a little bit closer but these are what you call foilettes so it's like confetti but plastic so obviously here we've got like a ghost I don't know if you're gonna see this clear enough and I apologize if you don't um, so I've got a ghost I've got a pumpkin there's bats there's witches there's stars um, yeah so you know to give it a bit of a spooky wizardry witchy sort of feel so I put those in the bottom of the bottle like so So it just gives it a nice little, I don't think you can see from there. But anyway, they're in the bottom of the bottle just to give it a nice little sparkly sort of thing. And then I decided to buy some bottle lights. And excuse the state of this because I did actually take it out of the bottle. So I could show you what it is. They're bottle lights. They're LED. They come with batteries that fit in the back. So the good thing about these are these are easy to change 
you don't have to faff around with screwdrivers and all that sort of stuff so they're easy to change batteries and they come in the really spooky green now you're not going to be able to see this properly because my camera for some reason make my lights look a bit of a blue and they're not they're a really cool spooky green take my word for it they are spooky green right so anyway obviously i put these then in the bottle because you know if you're going to have something that's about witches and wizards and and uh magic and stuff like that i thought a spooky green would be really really good so i just you know and these are really long ones as well so i like the length for these because they really do fill out the bottle and give you a lot of light whereas some of the ones i've got they're only two meters long and to be honest unless it's something that's meant to look rather i don't know pretty um I think you really do need to fill out the bottle with a nice amount of lights. So I've got me the lights. They go in there like that. And they're really, really quite cool. Pretty plain still, I thought. So I discovered a way of making miniature wands to go inside my bottle. So this is just an example of one. This is just a one. This is just a pencil an unsharpened pencil that has been created into a wand nothing to do with harry potter um anything like that it's just a wand that has been made out of a pencil and painted brown okay so i've got different types of wands in different colors so i've got brown two, uh, two brown two black different shapes you know different patterns in each in each bottle so they're not the same they don't represent anyone in particular they're just meant to look nice inside the bottle so that goes inside the bottle like so all right then as i said i did some knitting and got the house colors so this one is obviously gryffindor so the house colors are the sort of gold golden red wine wine red now they're not perfect obviously because i'm the one that's knitted them and i'm not a professional knitter but i created these and i thought they looked really nice and that sits on the neck of the bottle like that which is really quite pretty and to finish it off i thought well what can i do to finish it off get some witches hats now i had some of these for halloween for last year because of the pandemic and everything I did manage to sell anything for Halloween and I like the bottles because they had like pumpkins and bats and witches and stuff on it and um, the witches hats were to finish so the, the original witches hat is this one with the orange and I snipped that off basically and I put the colour of the house on so this one I've got the red on it as you can see and then that sits on the top like that I've got it around the right way no it sits on the top like that so that is my bottle light which i absolutely love and obviously when it's on you're not going to see the green the green is absolutely brilliant i love it but my camera doesn't pick it up very well so obviously i made one for there's one for gryffindor okay this is the one I made for Hufflepuff. Okay, so on this one, obviously, you've got the sorting hat and you've got the name. And then on the back, I've got the nine and three quarters. I've got like a, a sort of image of the Hogwarts castle. And obviously the, um, the story of the Elder Wand, the visibility cloak and the, um, the, the, philosopher stone at the beginning the first one so okay so there's so there's that one okay and then obviously you've got to have oh the hat fell off got to have raven claw okay so on this one i've got harry potter on his broomstick just just on the back of that one because it took up quite a lot of space and that's in the blue and the and the the gray the slate gray just move them up slightly and then last but not least, obviously I did 
Slytherin, which has also the nine and three quarters, has Dobby again, and then we've got this snitch with HP Harry Potter in the middle, and that is the green and the grey with the green hat. And they are my bottle lights, which I absolutely, absolutely adore. And uh, I've kept them for myself, these ones, but I do I wouldn't mind seeing if anyone would be interested in in um, ordering them. They take time to make, obviously. I'm in the process of making, I think I'm in the middle of doing this scarf at the moment. I've done this one, and then I've got to start these two. And then I can make four more bottles. So if anyone is interested, let me know. Drop me, drop me a message. Um, you know, I'm on, remember I've got an Instagram page the underscore potter underscore hut capital letters at the beginning of each word um you can message me on there um i'm on facebook but i don't have a page for the pot hut at the moment because i'm having trouble trying to open one so bear with me on that but um yeah i'm absolutely proud of these and and, and i really love the finished result so any comments of how you think what your what you think of my bottle lights would be absolutely fantastic um i absolutely love them it's just something that i've enjoyed spending a bit of time on and i wish i could do it this full time but with caring for my family it's becoming i'm having less and less time to do things at the moment which is why i haven't done any lego i've just done some short videos to show you the things that i've started collecting i've got some um wonderful birthday gifts that i got from my mum and my brother and i want to show you some of those as well all part of the harry potter collection obviously and um be getting my next geek gear wizardry box soon and also some more pops um thank you for your support as always to my subscribers um again if you like i say every video but i'm not going to say every video i'll just say it once a week if you want to donate to my channel to help me with what i can show you to make things better i want to be able to stream live i can't do that at the moment don't have enough subscribers not sure what to do about that i don't have the money to buy um computer equipment and all that sort of stuff my laptop is absolutely rubbish i've tried putting a video on there and well it's not even worth talking about my phone is better than my computer let's put it that way but anyway thank you for watching um, let me know what you think about the bottle lights, obviously, if you're interested, let me know, if I can um, make one for you, I will, and um, yeah, these are bottle lights, themed bottle lights by Mel, so again, thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon on the next video, whichever one it may be, I have no idea yet, but keep an eye out, ring that bell, share it to your friends and everybody, and the more the merrier. So until next time, until next time, ciao for now.